everybody, Beth Stein with the Beth and CJ Stein team. I'm here today with Michelle Dareth, the Community Relations Director at Eagle View Landing, the newest senior living community in the Exton area. I'm so excited to share a little time with her this morning and Eagle View Landing is partnering with us in the month of June for our giveaway of a big green egg. So exciting. Michelle, thank you so much for joining this me this morning. Um, we're really excited about partnering with you this month on the giveaway, but more importantly, we are so excited to have Eagle View Landing in our community. This is just amazing. Tell me a little bit about how you're so excited about, about Eagle View Landing. Well, first of all, Hello, everybody, and thank you so much, Beth. I really appreciate the fact that we get to work with you as well. You do such wonderful things in the community, and that's really what we're all about as well. So as far as uh, Eagle View Landing, it's going to be spectacular. It's everything that I've wished for in a community for seniors. Um, I've been doing this for 13 years now. It's, it's big, it's beautiful, everything is very high-end. The apartments are so large and spacious, you know, as we're talking about social distancing now, everything is, is lots of common areas and large areas that people can be in. And that's very, very exciting to me. But the biggest thing, and I think the most important thing is that town center. So many of my residents through the years have said to me, I just miss the old neighborhood. And I love the fact that we have a town center there across the street. So when we do have residents, we can walk them down to the town center and we can do the outdoor concert series and go to the farmer's market. And that just really makes me happy for them. Oh, that's just great. You know, people still need community and yes. they need that social interaction. I, I love that. Um, yes. It's just such a great community. How has, um, Michelle, how has COVID affected Eagle View Landing? Well, as you can imagine, people are understandably afraid. And, and, and I, I get that. We're all kind of afraid because there's so much out there that we don't know yet. Um, but one of the things for us to keep in mind as we're isolating ourselves at this time is this is what seniors do in their homes. You know, the health sometimes makes it that they can't do the things that they want to do and they can't get out and so on and so forth. And that's another reason I'm really excited about the community is it allows them to build those friendships and have some socialization, even in these times, you know, even if they're just opening your doors and sitting inside the thresholds and saying hi to each other, they can see that they're in this together and that it's okay because we, we all need that right now we need to know that it's okay um, the other great thing and uh, the good news about all of this is we've learned a lot you know when this first started we really um, as a, a as a nation how to um, react to this so we've learned a lot and we are putting the proper protocols in place and you can see that by the declining numbers that are happening now that's great. I, my 83 year old mother lives with me and that is my top priority is keeping her safe. And I know that this is something that so many people of my friends and my clients are so concerned about in senior communities. So it's wonderful to hear that. Um, thank you. Thank you for, for that. How is, tell me about Eagle View Landing and how overall it impacts our, our community and um, well, exactly what you said, you know, we want to provide a safe community for our seniors. You know, these, this is our frailest prop population and it's really important that we treat them like that. So we want to have them be as independent as they can be because that is what they strive for. And on the flip side, we want to make sure that we're keeping them safe by putting in those protocols so that we're not putting them at, at risk unnecessarily. Um, the other thing that's really exciting to me is um, we're gonna do all kinds of things in the community. Like we're not just a building in the community. We'll be hosting all kinds of events 
Um, you know, I, Jen and I have a lot, and I'm sorry, Jen is my general manager of the community. She's in charge of the building. Uh, we have a lot of experience in the industry. So we want people to come to us and ask us questions and use us as a resource. It doesn't mean you have to move into Eagle Bee Landing. That's not what we're about. We're about education and about helping families and seniors figure out what might be the best situation or, or circumstance for them, as opposed to, you know, having mom be at home alone and especially in times like this, but, you know, trying to get them to figure it all out. And it can be very overwhelming, especially if you haven't done it before. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. CJ and I work with so many seniors getting people ready and right, so we call it right sizing their home. Um, right. As a matter of fact, we just helped one couple in their mid 80s in the right in the middle of COVID. And um, we were able to get and facilitate the people to help them to, you know, everything had shut down. And so it was, it was great to have the resources to get them to their senior living community. They were um, replacing into Virginia. And um, so I am just so thankful that they are all, you know, safe and sheltered and their home is sold. And so, you know, that started with us as well at the beginning of just educating them what they needed to do. And then all of a sudden COVID happened. So um, it's a process. So I really appreciate you and Jen and all that you're doing in the community and educating people. Um, you know, it, it, it's just a wonderful, valuable resource. And we're so excited to have you all here. Thank you. What are the plans? You know, what? Um, tell me, I, you know, as far as getting opened and I just got an email from you this morning with new YouTube clips coming soon. So we're so excited, Cher. Yeah, so we're just waiting on the models. Um, as you can imagine with COVID, um, some of the deliveries got a little bit pushed back, but we're really not that far off. So we're hoping to wrap up the community by the end of June. And then, you know, it'll be uh, having the state come out then to do the licensure because we are providing care. So even though residents can live there without care, we have a lot of couples that are gonna be coming in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, most of the time one needs a little bit of care and maybe the other one doesn't. So they'll have their car there and so on and so forth. They can come and go as they please as far as that's concerned. But we definitely need the licensure to provide the care. So that's the piece of the puzzle that we're not quite sure yet how long that will take. And, you know, with everything going on here in Pennsylvania, <laughs> you know, we're just trying to uh, stay positive and, and understand that we're just very excited to be able to help those seniors that really need it. Oh, well, that is great. Michelle, good luck. Thank you so much. And we really appreciate you and Jen. And um, and again, thank you for sponsoring our Green Big Egg this month. We are really super excited about that. Um, everybody, all you have to do is check our Facebook feeds, our Instagram, our your email. It's going to be really easy. All you have to do is um, send in a picture of your current grill. Tell us why you need a new one. And we'll be picking that right before Father's Day weekend. And as always, we're here as a resource for you, whether it's preparing your home for sale, um, educating you in any way, and feel free to reach out to us or to Michelle and Jen at Eagle View Landing. And again, Michelle, thank you so much for spending yeah. time today. We really appreciate it. I went and I, I uh, picked out the big green egg yesterday at the Ace Hardware in Kimberton. So they were yeah. so there what a nice nice place so uh, it really is and we really appreciate them as well this is going to be so fun thank you again and best of luck in the month of june and um we are just again thrilled to have you guys in the neighborhood thank you yep thank you take care thanks bye bye everyone we'll see you soon take care